What if I told you that six out of 10 listings on the internet for watches are actually either sold or fake? Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Trading Academy. And today we are taking a look at fake listings. That's right, fake listings. Imagine that you're about to go purchase a watch and two key things are happening right there as you search for that little watch on the internet, as you want to get the best price and want to be educated, you fall into sales listings, listings of watches for sale. Now, why uh, would that not give you a good indication of what other people are actually selling their watches for? Well, I'm here to actually teach you something very specific here at Watch Trading Academy today. It is that the majority, and that's true, the majority of listings on the internet of watches are actually fake. That's right, fake. Like meaning the listings are either expired, not real, watches sold, or never existed to begin with, and they were just put there as a bait system to get people to call. Now, the world has changed and watches main, went mainstream over the last few years, meaning these kind of tactics and strategies became a lot more obvious to people than ever before, especially when you call and are told, we don't have the watch, but we can get it in the next 30 days for you. So today we're going to take a look doing just a basic Google search and going around and seeing where are these fake listings? Why do they exist? And why are they so all over the place, even on platforms like Chrono24? So let's get into my computer and see what we can find when we do a basic search for some of the most popular watches. So here, clearly all I've done was just type in Rolex Daytona Platinum for sale. So I've done that and look at what comes up. Here are all these listings that come up right here on the top. And these are what retail customers are basically seeing when they do that. But there is something fundamentally wrong with a lot of these listings. The first one that I wanna just mention is that a majority of these listings you'll see come from other search engines. And that matters for a couple of reasons, because while some of them look pretty good, these look like some good photos, some of them also look like they're more generic stock photos. And there's a reason for that, because watches aren't always in hand. So let's take a look real quick at something like a Corona 24 listing and a series of listings coming up. Again, on the surface, it looks like there's a ton of watches here. They're all fantastic. They're all around. And they're probably all going to be really, really good watches that we can buy, right? But there's something, in my opinion, fundamentally wrong with a lot of these listings. And we're going to take a look here at the lowest and the highest listings. So let's go to the lowest listings first because that is how the majority of people search. And so you will notice right here all of these listings. Now, again, the majority of these listings are going to potentially be in stock and are going to be good conversational uh, pieces to talk about or attempt to buy. But you'll notice that through these listings, some photos like this one right here at 99,655 are not of the watch itself. And so here another one at 99,750 not of the watch itself. Here's one at 100,701, not of the watch itself. And so we can keep going through this idea that there are listings that are going to be here that are simply not real and just stock photography. So the question is, why have a, a listing with stock photography if you intend to sell a watch? And the answer is quite simple. The majority of times you will notice that uh, jewelers can acquire something at a certain dollar. An example here would be that here, you can notice two separate listings using the exact same photos, one at 89, uh, 482, and one at 89, 197. Why have two separate listings from two separate places? That's one. That's another form of basically stealing a photo and attempting to sell the watch. But I wanna also show you something else. You see the photo listings of the ones that don't have the watch in stock, right? As an example, uh, we were looking here at 99, right now, 99,655 right here, tells you that this person is saying, if you wanna buy it at that or slightly below that, I can basically go here and source it for significantly less. So why shouldn't I list a watch saying I can get it when I can get it in less than 24 hours for a significantly lower amount, basically giving you peace of mind uh, that you too could be purchasing it. So these type of elements right here, looking online and seeing multiple listings using the same photos, I, I guarantee you like this listing here at 95018, uh, is again here 95018. Like again, you have all these duplicates constantly going on with a lot of these photos just being stolen from each other's listings. So that again shows you who doesn't have the watch in stock versus who has it in stock. 
And in many cases, here's the worst part. I promise you that if you actually call this listing right here at 79,376, it is very likely that this very same listing right here is actually non-existent. And the answer is why? Well, you see, Corona24 and all of these other platforms like eBay obviously get paid when people sell watches. And so when watches are actually left here and they're not actually sold, it ensures that the seller is not charged a fee for that sale. And so a lot of people and a lot of jewelers and dealers and consumers will simply leave the listings up in order to avoid paying their fees, leaving them up but not doing any deals on the listing itself anymore. So as a matter of fact, they will let the listing expire after a set amount of time rather than actually take down the listing, giving a false pretext that 447 listings are now available on the site when really I guarantee you probably less than 40 or 50 listings are actually active. This is the reality of how the watch world has basically manipulated its way into everybody's heart thinking that a lot more commerce was happening than it's happening. And a lot of ways, this shady practice has confused consumers, especially when they do a very basic search looking for their dream watch, only to see a ton of listings, prices all over the place, and a lot of confusion around what should I pay? How do I know this watch is even a stock? And how do I not get scammed? As one of the most profitable watch traders in America, I get asked this question a lot. Where do you go to sell your watches? Because buying them seems to be easy, but selling them seems to be the hard part. Well, simply put, I use this tool called Grailsy. See, Grailsy.com is an auction platform where you can list watches that are high-end watches, of course, and get auction bids by real retail buyers, not just industry wholesalers or traders like in Facebook groups. This is a huge opportunity for you as a watch trader or as a watch enthusiast to sell and buy watches via this auction platform. It's safe, it's easy to use, and more importantly, they guarantee the authenticity of each and every watch, giving your buyers or sellers the peace of mind when they're doing their transactions. So make sure you check out brailsy.com to use this incredible auction platform. And again, don't forget, I never endorse something I don't use or believe in. This has been my motto for the last 10 years, and I can't recommend Grailsy enough. Grailsy, buy and sell iconic timepieces. So as you can see from our searches, many listings just aren't there and aren't real. As a matter of fact, these are just how the, the entire industry has been operating for years and we just were too blind to notice it. And so I wanted to kind of blast the industry and put it out there for this little shady little thing they're doing, but also tell you that there are reputable sites out there that aren't doing things like that. Like you could go to grailsy.com uh, and you could literally see live auctions taking place and every single listing is real. Every single listing is happening as we speak. And that is the difference between an auction site, for example, versus a site like, you know, Chrono or some of the uh, listings you've seen where just the marketplace exists where anyone can just list anything. So you've had it right here. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications because this year, this channel will bring you more relevant information just like this to help you become a better watch trader and so much more. So again, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Why do you think the watch industry is starting to follow the commercial real estate industry by using some of these shady tactics? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments and otherwise I'll catch you next time for another Watch Trading Academy video. People go like, who would spend 50 grand for a watch? $50,000 watches are in the mail every day. Like I never got into buying watches because I never had the awareness. I just assumed that a used watch was just a dangerous play. I had, I had no clue about watches before I started. But then I started seeing a watch trading academy and I went, that's awesome. Portable, I can do part-time, I can do it whenever I want. They're small, easy to ship, no regulation, no registration, and the dollar numbers can be anywhere from $100 to $100,000. The return on that was pretty big, uh, 35 percent ROI and I ended up selling that watch for $9,900. Making $1,500 on a $3,000 watch was mind-blowing. The course progression has got me into using watches as an investment class. Buying higher-end pieces, hanging on to them, watching them appreciate in value. Really just take me out of this consumerism mindset more to this mindset of keeping your wealth while enjoying the, the item. I became a firm believer in getting investments that I can actually enjoy, not just 
sit in the closet somewhere. I told you in the past, my goal is to do as little as possible and make as much as possible. It really does not take much of my time at all. You're giving us the information that's teaching us how to work with everything. I could not have imagined that this is how it's going to be. I mean, the experience is, you know, it's excellent. It's something crazy. You tell that to somebody and they won't believe it. Until you experience it and you do it and you tell them it's true. There's thousands, even millions of watches that there's plenty of money to be made. You see all these success stories. How many more do you need? Everybody's got a nicer car. Everyone's got a nicer watch. Everyone has more money in their bank account. Everyone's going on trips with their family, taking care of their wives, taking care of their kids. If you got doubt, like have doubt. Cool, more room for us, right? But like. There's too many case stories now, there's too many successes. PJ's built way too great of a community. The tools have ever adapted. I mean, 100K Club, right, is that much faster? I mean, you just gotta get started. Watch Trading Academy. Learn how to buy, sell, trade, and invest in luxury timepieces